Welcome back. This is take two because the phone, aka the camera, didn't sit still properly and it didn't like me. So we're doing this again. Got pack cracking. It's not Friday, I know, but we got three packs and we're going to see what we can get. No, I've noticed the entire Zendikar Rising set, the only ones I don't have is him and her. What's up with that? Did they uh, make it so you can't get them in the regular booster draft packs or what? I don't know. These are the uh, Japanese style. So we'll crack these open. Yeah, I've uh, gone through the book. I'm sorry, I've gone through my book. I've gone through my... And I just noticed that. So that one should be the rare. Okay, so let's go through these real quick. Ardent Electromancer, Blood Reckoning, still one of my favorite sorceries in this. Utility Knife, and Resolute Strike, Nahiri's Binding, uh, Molten Blast, oh, Nahiri, yeah, I don't have Nahiri either. Risen Riptide, still hate that picture. That picture sucks, it's terrible. Makandi at, uh, Ox, it's like the 12th version of that one I got. Kazool's Fury. Vine Gecko and Brushfire Elemental, which is actually one of my favorites because it's a, a red and a green. It's a 1-1, one, one, has haste, and of course, it can't be blocked by creatures power 2 or less. And landfall, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, Brushfire gets plus 2 until end of turn. So it's a 3-3 three, three for 2, which is great. It's awesome. I love it. That's my favorite one of the uh, uncommons right now. Do, 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 do. Well, I hope everybody had a great week. We're going into some tumultuous times now, people. I hope everybody's uh, relaxed and calmed down and not having a bad day. Hope everything goes great. Hope everyone's having an okay week. As these tumultuous times are what they are. I think that is actually a foil. Because it felt different. Yeah, I think I was right. Haha. -ha. It's another Kazool. Oh, look. It's the same beginning. Mind Drain, Mesa Lynx, Might of Mur Marasa, uh, Cliffhaven Sellsword, Cleric of the Chill Depths, Molten Blast, Cunning Geyser Mage, Tormenting Voice, Akum Warrior, oh, I guess that was wrong, Akum, Akum Warrior, Thundering Spark Mage, how would you like that for a nickname? You are now Thundering Spark Mage, and Ravager's Maze, yeah, still not a big fan of that one. I'm not a big fan of the artifacts having uh, color identities. I mean, I, I get it. I, it's okay. But at the same time, it's like, eh, not a big fan of it. Ravager's Mace. Yeah. It just, it limits the, the decks you can put it in. That's my only problem with it. That's really my only problem with it. It just limits the deck, the decks you can put it in. Um, especially when it comes to Commander, so, and that's what, the only thing I play now. Yep. Do, 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 do. Okay, Feed the Swarm. That's actually pretty cool. Destroy target creature or enchantment. And opponent controls. You lose life equal to the permanence. Converted mana cost. Still one of my favorite. One. I said one of. Negate, because that's weird. Uh, Nimana, Skitter Sneak. This is Zendikon. Practiced Tactics. Broken Wings. Dauntless Unity. Tim, uh, Turn Timber Aesthetic. That's weird. Cleansing Wildfire. Into the Royal. Still one of my favorites. Because you get to get rid of a card. Skyclave. Cleric. Blood Chief's Thirst. And Attended Healer. So let's see. What kind of foil did we get? Did we get a good foil? Or an... Let's find out. Expedition Diviner. Eh, yeah, that's not, that's not that good. Flying, as long as you control another wizard, Expedition Diviner has... When this creature dies, draw a card. Eh. 
For four, you get a three, two. Not the greatest. Okay, so rares. Cargan Intimidator. I think it's like the fourth one I have. I should make a standard deck with them. No, I shouldn't. Hey, there you go. Ayasha, Soul of the Wild. Now that is an awesome card. I think that's actually the most expensive card in the set. If I remember right. Three and two green legendary creature elemental. Uh, Ayasha, Soul of the Wild's power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. Non-token creatures you control have forest lands, are forest lands, in addition to their other types. So that's awesome. I'm putting it in my, uh, yes, of course, everybody has it. My landfall deck, yes, okay. And the last but not least, Skyclave Shade. I don't think I have that one. Uh, da, 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 da. Skyclave can't be blocked. Skyclave Shade is kicked. It enters the battlefield with 2 one, one counter. Yeah, I do have this one. I do have it. That one, I didn't have, though. Um, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, if Skyclave Shade is in the graveyard and it's your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's a three one. I mean, you can put kickers on it. It's really the only time it's worth it, but then you're paying five for it. So I don't know. It's okay. Eh. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this. We did get a really nice card. That was really cool. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Uh, hit the thumbs up and ring the bell for notifications. When I do this, I will be doing this for at least for another two years. So why? Because I enjoy doing this. It's pack cracking. It's addicting. And I don't play the lotto. So have a great day. I hope to hear from you soon.